Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I want to show you my personal emulation PC. Now, I love the Pi. I love these little tiny computers, but when it comes to emulating games at full speed, no stutters, you're going to need some power. This is overkill for what I'm doing here. This is actually an i7-4790K, 32 gigabytes of RAM, a GTX 1060, 6 gigabyte. But it'll play anything at 60 FPS, so... Let's get right into it. I have Ubuntu Budgie installed along with RetroPie, x86, and a track mode. So let's go into RetroPie really quick. And from here I just have Nintendo 64 Neo Geo. I'm not using this interface, so we're going to exit this and we're going to hit up a track mode. Okay, so PlayStation 2, Nintendo Wii, GameCube. These are the three that I'm going to be focusing on right now. I have pretty much every other system here, and I'll just show you. Like Nintendo 64, I'm using the old room themes, and I love these themes here. I still need to set up my Nintendo box art down in the right-hand corner by the TV. And my other major thing is getting video snaps for PlayStation 2, Wii, and GameCube. It's hard to find them. I've been looking for a little while. The past two days I've been working on this, trying to find them. So what I did was I set up screenshots instead of snaps. We'll get right into it. Nintendo GameCube. And I will try Soul Calibur 2 first. I'm not going to do any more in this video because I don't want to get a copyright strike or something like that. Nintendo has been really pushing hard. So up in the top left hand corner we have our FPS listed. And this is at 720p. I could probably go higher. I really haven't tested it out. I'm pretty sure I'd be able to go to at least 1080. Possibly 4K. You never know. Now I'll tell you, this is not top of the line hardware. This is good hardware for me. This is my gaming machine, but I don't play new games. I don't play current games because they do not interest me. So I figured I'd turn this into a little emulation machine. And I would use Windows and stuff like that, but I love the way this looks and I wanted to stay true to RetroPie. So I'm using RetroPie x86, a track mode, and Ubuntu Budgie. Looks pretty good. The only way to exit the GameCube or Wii emulator right now within RetroPie is to hit Alt F4. And I'll exit you back into here. Next up, I will go with Wii and we'll try Super Smash Bros. You'll probably see something floating around on screen, like an icon. I usually try to put that there. This game looks so good at 720p. 1080p looks even better. The original Wii hardware never did this game justice. Now due to the limited 480p on the Wii console itself, even with an HDMI adapter, it still looked like crap. It looks so good at 720 though. Back out of here. Now I wanted to focus on these because they don't run on the Pi. We'll do PlayStation 2 and I'll just run Gran Turismo 4. You can full screen this if you want by double clicking on the screen or going into settings and setting it up so it goes full screen. But I have it here so we can see the FPS up at the top.
This is at 2x resolution. Could possibly go up one more to 3x. And I haven't tried this game yet with this setup. Oh god. Let's see if I can change the view. Yeah, that's definitely not going to help. Forgot how touchy these controls are. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Going up to 3x would definitely make the experience a lot better. It's a little blurry for me. But it still runs pretty decently. Right there on the cusp of 60 FPS. And exiting that game will bring us right back into a track mode. I'm going to get out of here. And that's it for now, guys. I just wanted to show you this. I really love this setup. Now, I did test this on an i3-4170 with a 270X graphics card, and it runs perfectly fine. But I had this computer sitting here, and I don't use it that much, so I really wanted to go ahead and install this. It's running from a 60 gigabyte SSD, and I'm running all my ROMs from a one terabyte hard drive. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe. If you guys are interested in setting something like this up, let me know if you have a PC that can handle these kind of things. I can make a tutorial. It's going to be quite a drawn out tutorial but it's well worth it in the end. I love the way this is set up. Like always, thanks for watching.